up guys welcome to technic studio in this video we are going to learn about another type of login screen in ionic 5 so in this login screen we will have login options with uh, login with username login with google and we can sign it up also we are going to build only two pages the first one is this one and the second one is going to be the login with username so out here even you can use the sign up post screen also if you like so these two screens i'm going to build right now so let's get started so in order to get started we need to build up our project first so let's create a new project we'll go to our project folder and out here I'm simply going to type ionic start then the project name will be say login screen and it will be of type blank let's hit enter so it's going to ask me which platform so this drills we ha I've already shown you in my last video if you, we are going to do everything with angular so I'll just click on angular and simply it goes on in the same way once your project is built you simply open up the project in your Visual Studio Code and out there we are going to perform a lot many tasks in our home page. So let's clear this home page first and we will design our own home page. So in our home page we will only have the iron content to which we will give a full screen size okay and set it to true because we need the full screen for our iron content and within that we are going to have an iron list now what this iron list will hold let's just check the image first so we will have a logo so out here i'm not going to show you an image of logo i'll just type it down you can even use an image instead of typing it down your own logo which you want to show up then we will have two buttons and the last one will be a iron text so let's do this so first of all I'm going to have an iron list header where I'm going to type the logo then I will have an iron button where the name will be login login with username login with username in it will be in small letter or however it is so let's change it login with username similarly let's copy it up and paste it out here it will be login with google then we are going to have an iron text which will show up in which we are going to write new user if yes then please sign up that will be our message and let's check the output now so it was already running for me earlier i'll just show you so just type ionic serve and it's going to run in your browser let's just check it out now it's going to take a little bit of time so keep waiting until it is done so it is opened up in our browser let's check it out now okay we can see some data filled up out here right let's align it as required by us so what you are going to do for that at first we are going to align all the items in the center let's do it so to our iron list i'm going to apply a class called iron margin because i want to give some margin and iron text center now one thing we need to do let's pass this iron list header data within an iron label and this was not centered or was it yeah it came to the center now so this button is centered now i think we need to apply this on the p tag because i need some in a different separate line so i'll apply it in a p tag let's just check it out again i think we should show up properly now great so we are still far behind from the design we are looking for but at least it is aligned in a proper manner so now what we need to do let's apply the button color to be white as we have seen in the image right so we'll give our iron button the color of white in both the buttons and few properties which we are going to use is expand i want it to be block and the shape will be round I apply the same out here let's check it out now so expand is given so that it can take the maximum width it looks good right now isn't it 
yes we've achieved this round portion let's work on the other stuffs for doing more changes in it we need to apply the css to it so we'll go to the home.page.scss file now in the scss file what we are going to do now in my assets folder i have created a folder called imgs in which i have passed on this leaves.jpg image as you can see out here so this image i have taken it from the internet you can search similar images uh, on the internet or i'll share the image of this uh, this image in the description below so that you can download it up so once this image is placed in the imgs folder what i'm going to do i'm going to work on it out here in my scss file on the iron content i'll give a background to my iron content this property is available against the iron content in ionic 5 only and even in ionic 4 also so out here first of all i'll give a background color of say iron color dark which is present in my themes as you can see out here we have this dark color available right so i'm calling this up directly in my home.scss file next we are going to pass on our url so our url we will pass we have to go back to the assets folder then we have to paste it twice because we have to first come out of the home home folder then we have to get out of our app folder then only we can get into the assets folder so in order to do that first i'm getting out of the home folder dot dot dash then i'm getting out of the app folder then i'm going to get inside the assets folder then imgs then i'll call the leaves dot jpg then we are going to place the background repeat it will be no repeat and background position will be center and background size will be cover so this is how we do it so once this is applied let's check it out what are the changes we are getting out here so we can see now that we have a background image out here right that's great now we need to work around on our iron list so let's call our iron list and within that first of all i'll center everything up in the y direction because in the x direction i have already done that up so translate y let's give a 25 bh i think that will be better it will come down now yes looks to me in the center because this will be bigger ones so i think this much of uh, transformation is fine now let's make the background transparent so that this white border will be removed or this white background will be removed now we can see that the border sorry the background is transparent now but we cannot see few things because the color is dark let's work on it now so on our iron list header once again i am telling you i am using an iron list header you can use a logo also if you like you can work on it as you want i simply want to show you how we can place the text properly in a logo type manner so in our iron list header we will give a margin bottom of 15 vh and we also give a letter spacing of say 3 pixel approximately what it will do is i'll show you right just right now so let me change the color of my iron label in my iron list header to be white color equals to uh, white let's give it light color we don't have a white color defined or do we have it i think i might have defined that earlier yes i do have defined this white color you can either copy it from this part okay this white color okay you can copy this part now the logo is coming up the color is good now why i have given this letter spacing let's remove this and see what is the difference in it i'll just show you up. you can see the text is too attached to each other 
all the letters are attached to each other, right? In order to give some spacing, that is why I've used this letter spacing so that the letter will have spacing between them. Now you will see we'll have a difference in it. So it is lot there is lot more space between all the letters, okay? So that is why we have used it up. Now we need to make it more bigger, right? How we are going to do that? Let's work around on the iron label within our iron header. So we'll make it font weight of bold and the font size say 3 rem will be better depending on the screen size it will vary a bit. Let's check it out. It is bigger, right? Looks like a logo to me and let's design the font family for that. So font family what we are going to use say Cambria Cochin. I think this one will be better. I think it's good. Similar to the one which we have built out here. Looks similar. The buttons we have to work on that now. Let's do that. So the next part will be the within our iron list we will have the iron button. So in the iron button it has to be bold. The next thing the text transform. Because we can see that the text that is coming up is in caps. So I don't want any transformation. The way I have written, it will show up me in a similar way. You can see now the text transformation is gone. Okay, as I have written, it is showing me in a similar way. If I want it in caps, if I remove it up, you will see it is showing, it will show up in a caps format. All the text will be capitalized in caps. Yes, right? So let's apply that up again and let's give some margin margin to our iron button so that we'll have some spacing between the two buttons in all the sides looks nice let's check it again with our image okay we almost have achieved the similar pattern one thing that is left is the iron text let's work on that now so for iron text let's give a color of white it's coming up and the font size I'm not happy with the font size because I think it is little lesser than what we are getting out here so let's work on that from our scss file so to our p tag because in our iron text we have a p tag we will give a font size of font size of 0.9 rem let's check it out now so it looks better to me and we have achieved the same design. The next thing which we need to do is to design our login with username screen. Let's do that now. Let's hurry it up. So we will create another page. In order to do that, we'll just write IMG page and let's give it uh, what, we, what name can, should we give say login with username so user login okay i think that will be good let's enter it up so the page is generated okay we will go to this page when we click on our where is it yeah login with username so i'll give a click event out here and since it is a part of our home page i will not do it in this manner i'll just remove this once again i'll just remove it up and from our app routing module also i'll remove it let's first gig uh, let's first pass a click event to our login with username let us generate a new page for our login with username okay so how we are going to do that we are going to generate the ionic g page user login but it will be generated within our home folder because it will be a we'll just make a stack of it so it has to be present within our home page folder let's do it 
so you can rename this to our login page also if you like to do that for that you need to remove this home page and create another page called login so that the name will come as login that will be more appropriate instead of the home page so within our home page i can see i have the login page and the routing of the home page just look at it it's showing me in a better way even i can change it up to what should we give it up let's keep it in the same manner so out here i'll just pass the router link and within the router link i'll pass user login let's see if it works or not i'll click on this user login and it didn't work maybe so out here we will pass our router link and we'll first first pass on our slash then we will pass in the let's see how this is present in our routing so if we pass this url then we will be redirected to the user login i think that's fine let's click on it now oh i'm really sorry i make a big big mistake this router link spelling is wrong it has to be router link l should be capital as you can see out here the property router link it holds a string now let's try it out that was the mistake okay cannot match any route user login fine if i give it in this way and let's see what do we have now we can see the user login okay so we have to pass it in this manner the router link and the url where we need to redirect it to okay so as this is our substack page because within our home page it is present so i'm just passing the normal url which is present out here even you can change this name to any other name okay and pass the same name out here it will redirect it to that particular page so now let's without wasting much more time let's work on our login user login page we'll again remove everything and we just need the and content again full screen to true okay now what do we have about here we'll define a div and let's give that id of bg what we are actually trying to do we are trying to build this up okay so first of all we need to build the image and then we will have a fab button okay at the center portion so within this div i'll just pass the fab button or let's work on the fab button later on let's first work on this div design so that we can actually show you the proper image at the background so let's give it a height of the 50% i think that will be better then uh, the width will be say 500 pixel is good and the background which we are looking for background it will be variable where this i am color dark and the url will be just like the previous one but will have a slight difference dot dot dash dot dot dash dot dot dash because we'll have three folders before reaching the assets folder okay then assets and we will have the imgs folder and the last one will be the 
Leaf Sword JPG. There we go. On the system, there will be no repeat. And will be center. And the last one will be the background size will be center cover. Okay. Once that is done, we'll give a border radius of to this leaf that will be not at anything at the top. There are four corners. So the first corner, the second corner, no. The third corner will be the down part and we need to give a border radius of say 45 pixels, 45 percent, sorry. Okay, let's check it out now. Let's remove the border for the time being. I think you might get confused. Let's just see this part first and then work on the border one. Now you can see the 50 percent height is taken with okay and you can see the background is aligned properly now which is similar to this image right okay now let's work on it again so let's give the border now border radius of 45 percent to the bottom part bottom left and bottom right so now we can see that if we give it if we give the width to be say hundred percent what happens is let's see okay if we give the width as hundred percent this will come up in this manner and we don't want this thing if we try to reduce the percentage to say 25 Let's see what happens. Not good. Because I need that curve, right? So that is why I need to increase the size, the width of this, and I'll give a margin left so that we can achieve the same part, right? So I'll just go back and I'll just keep it to be 500 pixels. And out here, I'm going to give a margin left of the 20 VW minus 20 VW because we want that to come to our right side there we go and now you can see the particular curve is coming up okay and I need this to be a little bit on the right side let's try the 21 VW I think it's proper now this thing is little straighter now and the two parts we are having the curve as expected out here isn't it great now we'll place this iron fab button let's work on it now but before going to that the position let's make it to relative or even it is not required by default it is relative only but if we give this i don't think there will be any change out here there is no change so you can even remove this up not needed the next thing we need an iron fab button within our iron div and this will be vertically aligned to bottom and it will be at the edge part and horizontally we want it at the center and the slot needs to be fixed so these are the properties which we need to set for our iron fab button but we won't see any iron fab button as of now because for that we need to define our iron fab button first so in our iron fab button what we are going to have we just have an icon whose name will be close outline color and work on the color later on so let's see the output now okay it is coming up but at the bottom right we don't want it to be out there so what we are going to do let's define position to be relative and let's see if it makes any difference there we go 
so if we give the position as relative it sticks to the particular size of the screen so now let's change the color of our fab button let's give a color of say white and to our ion icon we'll give a color of medium medium color is already defined which is by default where it is this is the color of medium little grayish and we want the same color to be out here you can see that color right yes it is the same color but the size of the ion icon is bigger out here other things are same so let's achieve that in order to do that we have to go to our user login css and out there I'll access my iron fab and within the iron fab we have the iron icon. This is the benefit of using SCSS. You can inherit all the things. So let's give it 2.5 REM. Let's check it out now if the size gets bigger or not. There we go. Let's compare it now and we can see the same size out here. Great. Now this thing we need to design, let's work on it now. So in order to make that happen, what we are going to do is, we will create an iron list after the div. Now this list, the lines, there won't be any lines as we have already seen in the image. And let's give it some margin also. Okay. Now within this iron list, we will have an iron header, iron list header, whose name will be welcome, and there will be a question mark, and there will be an exclamation mark, just as we have seen in the image. Then we will be having an iron item. Let's see the output once again. Then I'll work on the later on later part. Now we can see the iron list header that is showing up. Great. Now let's make an iron item. Within that iron item, what we are going to have will have an iron input. That input will have a placeholder of enter username okay and the type will be text we will clear the input when we type something the button will come up for clearing the input and we set it to true so this is the thing which we need to build let's check the design now okay let's give some margin to it because we need some margin for our button let's put the class and margin okay now let's do it once again let's copy this iron item and paste it once again for the password uh, we'll type the password the type will be password only and clear input will be true let's check the output now okay we can see that you enter username and the password and the last one which we need to work on is our iron text it's not test it's text okay and we'll have a p tag in between that which will read forgot password okay now let's give the color it of medium we need a little grayish type and to our p tag we will give a class of iron margin horizontal because i want the padding or the margin on the left and the right side okay great the things are coming up now we in order to achieve this design we have to work on the scss now Let's do that. So let's open up our 
as CSS. And uh, out here in our IAN list, let's perform the designing part. At first, we'll work on the IAN list header. We'll give a font weight of say thousand because I want it to be more bolder. And let's give a font size of 1.5 rem let's try that out now yes it's coming bigger similar to this one but we need a margin top let's give a margin top of 10 vh to our iron list margin top 10 vh now let's check it out looking good right looks nice to me now let's work on the iron item now to the iron item let's give a border of one pixel solid and the color will be the lighter one let's just um, color light we'll have a border radius of 20 pixels you can see a light border and there is a border radius also 20 pixels it's coming up nicely for both the buttons the next thing which we are going to apply is the shadow for that I'll use this wrap kit I have wrap kit box shadow and let's give it 0 6 pixel 4 pixel minus 4 pixel and the color will be and color medium we need few more things to be done then we'll just copy it up the next one will be more and what's that merge box shadow and it will also have the same values last one is going to be our box shadow and it will also have the same properties okay now let's check the output I'll compare the two now you can see that we can see the proper shadow okay now if you are looking like if we remove this two part what happens let's just check it out we are here to experiment with the design and let's work on it so I think we hardly see a difference in it so if you are looking to just apply the box shadow you can do that without this also these are just the effects if you search it on the internet you will get the things how it works how better you can do okay but the effect is not the same so I think I'll just pass on these two things so that we can have the similar effect which I want I want this to look as if there is no other border and this is one highlighted one so yeah you can see more border nicely and the shadow is coming up nicely now so we have almost we are almost there only the p tech designing is left so let's work on that now we'll give a font size of 0 0.8 rem and let's give a padding left of 5 vw I think it's good it's the same one right so we have successfully designed this part okay so you can just type it type around out here and you can see a cross button similarly out here also you can see a cross button done now we need to work around on this fab button so what I'm going to do I'll open it up and to my fab button 
is it here out here i'm going to pass the router link and out here i'll just pass slash home or the route of your home page if you want you can change the route name also out here in your app routing module you can change it to login so i'll give it as login okay and in my user login i'll change it to login fine let's check it now then into the login page now i'll click on login with username and we are entering this user login screen now i'll click on this button and we go back to our login screen so now you can see that we have successfully implemented our design the only thing that is left is this sign in button so for doing that let's go to our login page let's build up a and button so and button well, let's check it out how it looks like okay now we can see that the button is coming up but we have to align it properly so that it can be viewed only in one screen so in order to do that let's decrease our margin top in our iron list to be say 6vh perfect so it's coming within our page to give the shape to be the round one let's make the text to be little bolder so for doing that we have to pass this strong true this is another property of iron button let's check it out now looks cool but the alignment i don't like it to be out here i want to align this to the right side let's achieve that so in order to do that let's wrap our iron button within a div which will be aligned to the right side great i also need to show an ion icon out here for signing in let's do that also this will give us a good design so i'll pass an ion icon the name of that icon will be log in and the slot will be at the end of the text great but i want to align all of it in one line so i need to give some margin end to it so i'll pass a class in my iron button i'll pass a class called iron margin end now this is all aligned in one line you can see it properly only thing that is left is the color of this iron button which is blue right now we need the color to be similar to this leaves color okay let's go to the color section and scroll down out here i'll simply pass this color and i'll name it as plant color okay this plant is enough let's copy this stuff open your code go to the themes variable or scss and in your root out here up yeah out here i am going to paste it and one more thing i have to do is to copy this class called and color plan so that we can use it in our app nicely and paste it out here simple let's apply it in our iron button for doing that i'll pass the property called color and name it as plant so it has come up nicely looking good right the greenish color looks perfect to me so we have successfully implemented this part it is very nicely shown in our portrait mode but it might differ in the landscape mode so you i'll leave it up to you you can edit the way you want in the landscape i want to see how you have done comment me up below so comment below what do you want next what kind of videos do you like okay so let's check it once again yeah it's working perfectly so all good so see you guys in the next tutorial till then thank you very much subscribe to my channel like and share with your friends thank you